Hey, what's up guys? Jason here again. I'm going to be doing another director's retrospective video on James Wan this time. And with, uh, with Insidious being released here in theaters, you know, like a month, a month ago, I thought this would be an appropriate time to go ahead and do a video on him. And, uh, yeah, James Wan is, uh, he hails from Australia. He was, uh, born in Malaysia and then raised and I grew up in uh, Melbourne, Australia. And um, he is one of the members of the Splat Pack, which was a term coined uh, by probably, you know, 2005, 2004, something like that. With uh, It was him, uh, Rob Zombie, uh, Daryl Lynn Bowsman, I think the guy's name is, and uh, let's see, Alexander Aja was in there, and probably a few more folks. But if you look... Uh, I think James Wan is by far the most uh, successful in terms of making good films. Maybe not monetarily, but um, you know, a lot of those guys are still doing stuff, but um, not a lot of good stuff, in my opinion. Um, James Wan, he's an original guy. He does a lot of original stuff. Um, a lot of those guys are doing remakes, like Al Jenner is doing remakes. Rob Zombie's, of course, doing remakes, but. Uh, he doesn't have any remakes on his belt, you know, under his belt. So I think that's kind of kind of cool, something to be, uh, you know, respected for at least. But uh, yeah, he's probably mostly known for Saw. That's of course a film that came out in 2004. But um, he actually made the uh, the film Saw. It was a short film that the feature is based on in 2003, 2004. He made Saw and. Um, the cool thing about that is he he did Saw and you know he directed Saw, but he didn't direct any of the other films. He directed the first one, and then he produced uh, Saw two through Saw Saw six, whatever the last one was. And um, he also wrote the uh, script for Saw three, I believe. So I mean he he's a smart guy. I think he knows when to get out. Because, I mean, at least from an artist's perspective, he, he did the right thing. I mean, he, he still had his name on there as a producer, so he's getting some money for the movies, but he didn't actually direct them. So um, he did the first film, which I think is the best film in the series by far. I'm not a huge fan of the Saw films, but um, that's just my personal taste. I kind of lost interest after part three, actually after part two. But, um... Yeah, Saw, and then in 2007, he did uh, Dead Silence, starring Ryan Quentin, I think that's how you say his name, and that's uh, another fellow from Australia, and you probably recognize him from True Blood, he's done a few movies here or there, but uh, True Blood, and uh, Dead Silence is an awesome movie, I've actually got the poster hanging right here, but um, it's, a, it's a puppet movie which uh, Saul had a puppet in it also, but this is a puppet movie, a killer puppet movie, but it's it's really a lot more than that. But um, really freaky film and uh, kind of an odd choice, and I don't think it did very well in the theaters, but it's a really cool film. If you guys haven't seen it, I definitely recommend checking that one out. And then in 2007, he did Death Sentence with, uh, this is a Kevin Bacon film. And this film is... It, it, it really reminds me a lot of uh, the 1970s revenge style films, 1970s, some 1980s, uh, but a lot of the you know the Charles Bronson stuff and uh, some uh, of the Chuck Norris films, just a lot of stuff in that vein. Just it, it really seemed like it was a throwback film and something different that um, really wasn't being done very much at the time. It's kind of the formula has been copied quite a few times since uh, 2007 um, but I think it was a, a really really cool film and I'm not sure how that one did in the theater either but um, it'll probably come to be a respected film here in the future that, that's a really a pretty pretty brutal and violent film and you know it, it really shows his range because this guy's doing yeah that's still probably in the horror vein but it's not you know, it's not technically a horror movie. It's more of an exploitation type movie, uh, more of a you know, kind of an action movie as well. But 
really shows how the guy can do different films, and I think that's probably what he was trying to do. You know, get out of the get out of the horror genre a little bit, so he's not type, uh, you know, essentially typecast as a horror director. But um, yeah, Death Sentence, an awesome film, um, all around. Got lots of great cameos in there. Um, definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it. And then the film that just came out, well, he did a film called Doggy Heaven in 2008, which is a short film I haven't seen. But in uh, 2000, 2011 came the uh, his newest film called Insidious, which I think is a really freaky, uh, kind of like a possession supernatural type movie. Um, I can't really compare it to a lot of stuff, but... Um, a lot of really freaky moments in there. Probably the scariest movie I've seen to come out in uh, recent years. And if you're, you know, you may not be into that kind of movie, but if you at all like, uh, you know, scary movies, you know, uh, paranormal movies, I definitely recommend checking that one out as well. Um, we really had a great time with it. It's all in the theater and uh, really, you know, shows that, you know, he's got staying power as a director and a writer as well. Um, just, just great all around. Definitely check that one out when it comes comes out on DVD and Blu-ray here in the near future. And uh, keep your eye on James Wan, man. This guy's going places. Young, young guy. He's in his early 30s still, so he definitely got many more years to make great films. And um, cool thing he always does. He always has uh, one of the puppets from his movies, like kind of has a cameo in there. Uh, either the puppet from Dead Silence or uh, the puppet from Saw. I think I think it was the puppet from Saw, which was, it was drawn on a chalkboard in, uh, in Insidious. The, the lead male character is a uh, school teacher, and the, there's a little picture of, a, of the puppet from Saw drawn on the chalkboard. So check that out if you happen to watch that movie. But um, yeah, not much more I can say. He has kind of a kind of a unique style and uh, I know when I was watching Insidious I saw a lot of really unique camera angles which I'm a I'm a nerd for camera angles I really like uh, unique stuff that's you know when you watch it you can tell it took time to set up a shot and I know that's like a lot of regular viewers of a film probably wouldn't notice stuff like that you know only us uh, film nerds but you know, I really get a kick out of it and you know I really appreciate the uh, the time put into uh, films like that, but 